the the wait is finally over. I know you've been waiting for this. It's <laughs> it's taken me six years, six years to make this config, but it's ready. Uh, but yeah, back in Mirror's Edge Catalyst, this was just a follow up, because I did a recent video where I was comparing my original config just to and then like comparing that to uh, my preferences now and how that change has changed over the years. So I wanted to at least get this config out there. So this is this is my revised version, which is even a little different than that other video. So yeah, it really shows... Uh, what do we got down here? It's a nice little case study to see how much configs and preferences change over the years. So... The main differences from default controls is I am using left trigger for all parkour stuff. Well, for up and down. I'm using soft pull for jump, full pull for down. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this. Full pull right trigger. Full pull right trigger. Full pull right trigger, soft pull. Left pad, click. Wee -wee -wee. Oh, Some nice little angle kicks. Oh, oh. Let's get out of here. Pull, pull. Soft pull. <laughs> Oh, this is a good um, right pad, top, click. Boom. Go through a door. Hey, you get the chip. Um, the top pad for the click is... I mean, that is... You need to lose them or find that safe house, Faith. I know. That is also... Uh, I'm just not going to close the door. You could also do that with a left pad click. But I just kind of wanted it uh, on a secondary position also. Well, that one's already open too. Let me get out of their way. Oh, this is another one too. Um, right pad, left or right click is disrupt. So you're starting to see the, the pattern here. Basically, never take your thumbs off. Pads and triggers. Boom! Off the ledge. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Alright, screw you guys. Left pad click. Get that boost. Jaboom! Pull, pull. There's always a little bit of, de of a delay on those, if you notice that I pressed that click once and then had to wait. Soft pull for my up action. Soft pull. Soft pull. Soft pull. Pull, pull. Pull, pull. <laughs> there we go. That one's a little bit more responsive. Uh, I guess let me go... Where am I going? Um, let's go... Back outside somewhere. All right, so the other thing I just wanted to mention is if you go into the map, this is an auto action layer to a mouse-centric action layer with a cursor. All this stuff while we're in the menu. Everything is in there that you need. Um, anything else I need to cover here? Basically, the stick and face buttons are 
those I kept X input specifically for the social menu stuff. Like, if you try to use those during gameplay, it's it's gonna bug out. All right, so we have like light tag, but you can see here, like I'm moving, pushing X. I can't because the game doesn't technically doesn't fluidly support simultaneous mixed input. So that's why I have these, just so you can use the stick to navigate, A to create, B to close. But use the triggers for in-game combat. I think that's pretty much it. I still have, you know, bumper. Right bumper is a uh, quick turn. I had thought of moving that somewhere, but... The main, the main changes were switching up some of the trigger functions, and I added the shift to left pad for combat dodging, but whenever I want to jam through a door, I tend to use the right pad up click, which is really, it's the same thing. So, left bumper is still jump. That's kind of... I mean, I could make that something else. Oh, hey, free experience. There, we'll end it how we started it. Enjoying the view. Because I'm a parkour runner. Yeah, you can find the... Uh, maybe how to find it up in... Community section. I did upload this. Uh, yeah, there it is. Alt Combat. This is the Steam version of the game. So if you have a non-Steam version and you would like to use this, if you've added, you know, add the game into Steam, and then rename your non-Steam shortcut to the Steam store page ID number, and then that will let you browse the community configs for the Steam version of the game. And that's just always like a nice tip to know about Steam and how controller configs work. And like I had said, I mean, I know this is <laughs> this is very late, but it's just it was more of a more I, I wanted to follow through with it because I know often often I'll do a video where I'm just talking about something, showing off a config that's not really polished and ready, but people are asking about it. So I wanted to come back in polish it up, get all the descriptions in there, get it uploaded, and just toss it out there, that it's there, and even, you know, if you're not specifically wanting to play the game, and you're just curious about Steam input stuff, I think it's a it's an interesting comparison between the old version I made, that last video where I was talking about how much my preferences have changed, even in that, I had attack on the right pad which I just it wasn't feeling great so I took it off I reprioritized I put the attacks on the triggers yeah it's like it's an interesting little an interesting little view of how your configs can change over time the more you play and the more you get used to whatever specific controller you're using in steam input so that is that and I will see you around